Welcome to the world's inspiring places. Hi, I'm Christian, and this is Ian. At a time when travelers are rushing to see places before they vanish or change forever, we wanted to check out a place that people have been working to protect, Sierra Gorda in central Mexico. With a small crew, we traveled through beautiful country we didn't know existed in Mexico. Sierra Gorda is a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, so big it could swallow all of Yosemite National Park with room to spare. It's an area rich in biodiversity, culture, history, traditional food, and natural beauty. Unlike a national park though, 97% of this huge reserve is owned by the people who live here, which can make it difficult to protect. In fact, much of that natural beauty might not be here if it weren't for a small organization called Grupo Ecologico, the ecological group. They've been working to keep this a special place for people to live and, like us, travel. Hola, Christian. Hola. Pleasure. Marta Isabel Ruiz Corzo, or Patti, as she's known, started Grupo Ecologico in 1987. At that time, Sierra Gorda was severely threatened by logging, erosion, overgrazing, and the poverty that contributes to such problems. How could they meet such a tough conservation challenge? For a week, we explored the Sierra Gorda, having a great time and learning how Patti's group works. One of their basic ideas is to help local women develop livelihoods around sustainable ecotourism. That new income means less pressure to clear forests for grazing or crops. We wanted to meet some of the people they've helped. For 30 years, the group has taught villagers the skills for a local economy that respects nature, such as building their own eco-lodges. Local women built this eco-lodge near Cuatro Palos by themselves. They make mud for the walls with earth from the hillside and mix it with their feet. And it dries it out so you can actually put it on a wall and it'll stay there. Mm. Really cool process. Surprisingly difficult. <laughs> <laughs> social inclusion as the main goal of the project. And that's very different of what is happening in other areas, where someone from outside comes and make a lot of money around the, the beautiness of someone else. I cannot stand it, no. I don't want external investors to come here and make money, no. It may take me another 20 years, but it's going to grow bottom up. While searching for adventure, we volunteered for a little trail maintenance. Oh, you think you can move it? <laughs> Manzanitas is one of the restaurants, or fondas as they're known, on Grupo Ecologico's flavor trail. The trail has helped empower rural women to become business owners. Doña Mari used to sell food in a small stand along the road, and now has a restaurant of her own. Lisa joined us to help translate on behalf of Sierra Gorda Eco Tours. Uh, we'll see what she's going to prepare for us today. So should we go inside? Yeah, let's go. Okay, lead the way. It smells good. It smells so good. <laughs> So she had a very small cabin at first. Since then they are working very happy. They don't have they're not cold anymore. That is amazing. That is very spicy. We also learned we're not accustomed to the local level of heat. Go, 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 go. <laughs> 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 
Yes, it's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> As in all great adventures, we had a lot of fun. Our videographer wasn't too thrilled about the zipline bridge. You got this! Hey guys, hey. welcome to Latino. Hey. Roberto is Patti's son and a powerful leader and co-founder of Grupo Ecologico. He works to reduce harmful and illegal activities while encouraging local people to help enforce environmental regulations. So what we're trying to develop here is economic options for local people so the profits just stay here. And that way we have been able to take pressure off the forest. What we have here is a Butterworth a uh, carnivorous plant. I feel like Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> Cheers, man! The thunderstorm! Oh, the thunderstorm. Yeah. Yeah. Found a Doña Chole, in Jalpan de Serra was another stop for us along the flavor trail. Bienvenidos. Gracias. Y estamos en la ruta del sabor desde hace siete años. Esto vino a darle un giro a todos los negocios, no nada más al mío. La mayoría somos mujeres, somos muchas más mujeres que hombres. She built her signature pig-shaped oven herself. It feels so good. Yeah, when a lady says how life has changed for them, that's a cherry of my cake. We soon realized that stories like these were behind all the amazing food we'd be making and eating along the flavor trail. Not to gloat, but these two are mine, and the sad one in the corner is Lisa's, so... Man, this is like... <laughs> I made some bread and gorditas, but Ian really put on the chef's hat. <laughs> Here I am again, cooking you guys food. Is this too too thin? You can stay here if you want to. <laughs> we've got problems. There's a drone down in the cornfield, and we've got to find it. And we're on a timeline that is strict, so we need to go. <laughs> no more time for shenanigans. Laura has been a key element in the global operation of Grupo Ecologico for over 19 years. One important function of their group is educating the landowners on the benefits of a flourishing ecosystem, such as a healthy watershed. Roberto just gave us the go-ahead to drink some of this water straight from the Sierra Gorda Mountains, and we're really excited about it. it tastes phenomenal. The group also supports local artisans and workshops that tourists can visit, like pottery, natural remedies, and this embroidery workshop built and run by local women in La Colgada. And talk about perseverance. It took Juan Carlos five hours of searching, but he finally found his drone. It was held on some branches. Oh, you cried. You found the drone. Yes. Yeah. yeah. A significant part of the group's conservation work involves managing private nature preserves. To combat climate change and protect biodiversity, they've developed a carbon offset program and convinced state governments to dedicate a portion of vehicle license plate fees for it. The funds pay landowners to take care of their old growth forests. They're proud to see wildlife return. Incredibly, in a remote cave, Roberto showed us a salamander that was thought to be extinct. So happy, so a fun our case. This was proof. Their conservation program is working. Sierra Gorda is the piece of homeland where I can be effective. And I like to think of myself like the spokesman for those that don't have a voice. 
We're ready to go. Our last stop was Peña de Bernal, at the gateway to the Sierra Gorda. We wanted to get to the top of one of the tallest monoliths in the world. Fun or what? We just climbed the monolith and you can see the massive shadow we got going on back here. Many areas around the world are developing fast, too fast. The Sierra Gorda group is still fighting daily threats, but what we love about them is their passion and perseverance to protect what all of us and future generations can enjoy. Remember that in Sierra Gorda, a few handful of people we have been able to protect our Sierra. So stand up for your own regional town and for what you believe and do your very best. Don't waste your time. It's not just about tourism, it's not just about the responsible visitor, it's about every person in society participating. And we want a new world, we've got to act on it. In a remote part of the world, where nature, adventure, history, local food, and touching charm flourish, we came to explore and left changed.